Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC that consists of uh, two red triangles, this one and this one, along with this uh, white uh, right triangle uh, BDE, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, the side length uh, AB of this uh, triangle is uh, three units, whereas uh, this uh, side length uh, AC is uh, five units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, red shaded region, this area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 3 and uh, 5. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets. We got uh, 3, 4, and 5. If this side length is uh, 3 and this longest leg, the hypotenuse is 5, then our this uh, leg BC is going to be 4 units. And by the way, you could have used uh, the Pythagorean theorem to figure out this uh, unknown side uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this angle is uh, 90 degrees. Uh, and this angle is 90 degrees as well. So as a result, we got uh, these uh, two red uh, right triangles and this uh, white uh, right triangle as well. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, some of these uh, two angles must be equal to 90 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle ABC. Let's assume that this uh, angle in this triangle is uh, alpha. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CDE. This angle is alpha. This angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And finally, let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BEA. This angle is beta. This is our uh, 90 degree angle. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha. And finally, let's focus on this uh, white right triangle BDE. We know that this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is alpha. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And moreover, this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha. And now we can see that this uh, white uh, right triangle uh, BDE is uh, similar to this uh, big uh, right triangle ABC according to angle-angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion, in other words, the ratio of uh, B, D, and uh, D. Let me go ahead and write down uh, B, D divided by D, E is going to be equal to the ratio of this side uh, A, B, and this uh, B, C. Let me write down uh, A, B divided by B, C. And now we can see our A, B length uh, is uh, 3 and our B, C length uh, is uh, Four. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this AB by its length uh, 3 and BC by its uh, length 4 over here. And now we can see the ratio of BD and DE equals to 3 divided by 4. So therefore, uh, we can uh, write uh, that this uh, BD, this side length BD could be written as uh, 3 times some constant uh, K. And this uh, side length uh, DE could be written as uh, 4 times some constant uh, K. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this constant uh, K. So therefore we can see that our this uh, segment uh, BD is uh, 3 times uh, K. And this uh, segment uh, DE is uh, 4 times uh, K. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this is our larger leg and this is our smaller leg. So therefore the ratio between these two legs is going to be 4 divided by 3. 
and now let's focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, C D E we know that uh, this is our smaller leg and this is our bigger leg so therefore uh, the ratio is going to be 4 divided by 3 as well so therefore uh, this side length uh, C D is going to be 4 divided by 3 times uh, this length uh, 4 K so therefore if we multiply these numbers we are going to get 16 k divided by 3 so therefore this segment c d turns out to be 16 k divided by 3 and now let's make an observation we can see that this b d segment is 3 k this c d segment is 16 k divided by 3 so therefore this whole side BC is going to be 3K plus 16K divided by 3. So therefore I can write 3K plus 16K divided by 3. And moreover we know that this side BC is equal to 4 units. So therefore I am going to set this thing equal to 4. And now if we add these fractions it turns out to be 25k divided by 3 equals to 4 and now I'm going to multiply by its reciprocal 3 by 25 on the left hand side and 3 divided by 25 on the right hand side as well to isolate k so therefore we can see this 25 25 cancels out 3 is gone with this 3 so therefore our k value turns out to be 12 divided by 25 and now since our k value turns out to be 12 divided by 25 so therefore uh, this uh, side bd is going to be 3 times uh, 12 divided by 25 is going to give us uh, 36 uh, divided by 25 and likewise this side uh, de is going to be 4 times uh, k value is 12 divided by 25 so therefore this is going to give us uh, 48 uh, divided by 25 and now let's make an observation we can see that red uh, shared region area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC minus uh, the area of this uh, white uh, triangle uh, BDE so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and this other uh, white uh, right triangle uh, BDE as well and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big right triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base times height and in our case uh, our base is 4 and our height is uh, 3 so therefore ABC triangle area is going to be a half times 4 times uh, 3 and if we simplify everything the right hand side turns out to be 6 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, white triangle BDE whose base is 36 divided by 25 and the height is 48 divided by 25 so therefore area of this uh, triangle BD is going to be 1 divided by 2 times base is 36 divided by 25 times our height is 48 divided by 25 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us 864 divided by 625 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this red shaded region and uh, we figured out our uh, ABC triangle area as 6 and this white triangle BD area is uh, 864 divided by 625 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation I'm going to write down 6 uh, minus uh, 864 divided by 625 and if we subtract uh, these numbers and simplify it turns out to be 2886 divided by 625 so thus our red shaded region area turns out to be 2886 divided by 625 square units
and that is going to be approximately equal to 4.62 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.